The other night, I was looking through some old boxes. All of a sudden, I found something that I hadn't seen for a very long time. Away on, uh, on 80 metres and 40 metres, please come back and, um, and exchange the paddle. I think they'll be... A direct conversion receiver is nothing more than an oscillator a mixer and probably some audio filtering and then usually a preamp and a power amp. The oscillator runs on the signal frequency so the signal mixes with the oscillator and the difference is audio. Now there's no additional intermediate frequency or any kind of filtering other than the audio filtering so you hear both the upper and the lower sideband. The receiver is super simple like all direct conversion receivers. That's the product detector or receiver mixer. It's an SA612 or an NE602. That's its oscillator coil there. And uh, this is its tuned circuit on uh, 3.6 megahertz. But this is audio from here on, a little bit of audio filtering, and then, and then a dual op amp does two stages of um, active audio filtering. And then the audio amplifier is a TDA2611. The receiver is pretty free of noise. It's quite convenient being able to tune the entire 80 metre band in half a turn. But this, this tuning rate is of course far too fast to be practical. So the easiest way to do it is to roughly land on the station that you can detect with the main tuning. Then resolve the sideband with the fine tuning. There's a test point right here that brings the SA612's internal oscillator signal out via a small series capacitor. So this is what the oscillator looks like on the scope. 3543. It's wobbling around a little bit. 3542. Which is pretty close to where the station is transmitting. 3541. Here's an ad for the receiver taken from a magazine. And the receiver is reviewed on eHAM. It's got 4.7 average overall rating. Pretty good. And there are lots of videos and pages on the internet. I like this one. It's been built into a VHS cassette case. Switching the antenna between a DC receiver and a superhead tells me that the sensitivity is quite similar. There are a few hints that suggest that this direct conversion receiver board was intended to be paired with a QRP transmitter board. Over here there's a side tone terminal which is straight into the input of the audio amp. There's also a mute link here which presumably mutes the audio power amp possibly via a set of relay contacts. The receiver is tuned by D1 which is an MV209 Varactor. But I can't see any support for 
a CW offset. In other words, the application of a small DC voltage to, uh, to shift the capacitance of this diode or perhaps another. And that'd be necessary to make a CW transceiver work. So what are the options for turning this into a transceiver? The core of this is the mixer and the VFO. You could add a key buffer and a PA and turn it into a CW transceiver, but you'd have to deal with that 700 Hertz transmit offset. If you added a mic and a mic amp, the SA612 could double as a balanced modulator, followed by a couple of stages of linear amplification for a simple double sideband transceiver. Playing with a simple direct conversion receiver like this reminds you just how well really simple equipment can work. I'll put this one back in the box for a rainy day.